What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Doyle back with another video. On today's video is another live trade. Um, <clears throat> so right now it's seven o'clock. I woke up around like six thirty. I don't know why I be waking up super early. Like I can't help it. Like, I just gotta wake up early. So I was at the charge around like six thirty, but I haven't really did nothing. And um, I just thought I should record, man. It's been a while since I did another live trade, so we're here. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for another setup, man. Like. I'm not really thinking about placing any trades until after 7.30. So we're just gonna be waiting until sun comes. So I'll get back to y'all or something up here. But right now it's really nothing, nothing really clear. So yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we got a demand zone right here on GJ. Um, I just sent out the setups to the Discord. Um, I like this because the higher time frame is bullish. The 15 minute chart is bullish. Um, the one hour is bullish as well. So. Hopefully this setup holds, man. Every setup we take, we don't know if it's going to hold. We only trading off of a reaction at the zone. So I'm not about to act like I just know it's going to hold at the zone. No, we just going to see what happens after it taps the zone. It may not even tap the zone. We don't know if it's even going to reach the zone, but we got to prepare for every situation. So um, I like this setup and um, yeah, bro. So hopefully it taps and then we can uh, make some money today. This zone is kind of big, so I don't know if I want to get in aggressive or not, though. The zone is... Well, actually, for this to be GJ, for that to be 11 pip zone, that's actually not that big because it's GJ. You can catch 10 pips easily on GJ without no problem. So, um, yeah, man, let's just see what happens, man. Um, I have no target goal. I'm just trying to get a win today. So every single day, I don't have like, oh, I'm trying to make 2,000 today. I'm trying to make 1,000 today. It's just, let's get a win. You feel me? I'm not going to overcomplicate it at all. I do fixed lot sizes, so I'm definitely going to put 33 lots on this trade right here. And, uh, yeah. So. Okay, it's rejecting, so I think I'm about to get in. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, it's rejecting. Okay, we're in. We're gonna get that. First target one to one, and then we're gonna see what happens. So let's see. Let's see what it does. I'm tomorrow it was right there at TP, then it started dropping. Like, man. <sighs> we gonna wait it out, though. I ain't gonna lie. It was right there, bro. Like, TP was literally, like, right there. 
and it just reversed. So we're gonna wait it out, man. I'm gonna wait it out. I almost closed, bro, but I was just dropping, so that's irritating. See, this is where the psychology come in at because my take profit was literally right there and it just dropped. No, it's coming back to my original entry. Now, am I going to close? No, no, I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to let it hit my take profit and then we're going to just go about our day and, and win $3,000. So I'm not going to just close because it's coming back down. No, I believe this setup have much more to go up. So I'm going to hold, period. That's how you do it, bro. That's how you do it. I'm out. <sighs> All right, man. So how much did we close with? Let's check the MT4. All right, so that's how you do it, bro. I almost closed because it pulled back, but then the next candle went up and I just closed once it hit my take profit, man. Um, I'm not even gonna go on trading view because there's no point. Let's just break it down on MT4, man. So first things first, we have a breakup structure right here. This is a breakup structure. That swing high got broken, okay? So the breakup structure is important because that shows us where they wanna go if they come back to the demand zone. This is a demand zone, we got aggressive buying. Aggressive buying came back a little bit later and it tapped into my zone at exactly 7.30, okay? I wake up around seven o'clock anyway, seen the setup, sent it to the Discord and we won on this trade. Um, I just liked it because the 15 minute chart, 15 minute chart had confluence with the five minute setup. Go to the one hour, go to one hour, we are on a clear uptrend, okay? I don't like trend lines because trend lines are just terrible. But right here, clearly we're on the uptrend. This is an uptrend without a doubt. So I'm going with the trend, okay? As simple as that, we got confluence with the with the 15 minute chart. The one hour is bullish. Let's take it with confidence, man. Um, I got an aggressive um, because I kind of just liked the setup. I liked how it looked. And even though the candle closed inside the zone, I still took that risk and I got my one-to-one -one and I'm done. So whatever happens after this, I I'm good. I didn't leave no runner or anything like that. But uh, we made money today, man. So I hope that this is um, informative to you, man. Most of my supply and demand setups got to have a break of structure. I did take a NAS setup on Monday that didn't have a clear break of structure and it still won. So you got to get your, your strikes as far as trading supply and demand. You will know which ones hit the most for sure. But that's all I got. Peace and love.